So I'm currently pausing the uh, Fowler build for a little mid project. The engine's just too heavy to lift now. So what I need to build is a sort of crane system in the garage. Now, as you can see, it's very cramped in here. So I've been like, I thought about doing a gantry crane that I could slide along on rails, but this wall is only um, stud wall in, so there's nothing structural to actually put it onto. Um, I thought about maybe an A-frame or something in here, but it's just packing it away against the wall. It's just not kind of suitable. So what I'm going to do is actually make like a shelving unit to replace this, but with a boom arm, with a swing boom arm on it. Um, I've been to the scrapyard today, got a few bits and pieces. Um, just marking out, marking out here. And I've got some angle iron for all the shelving these parts my plan is for the swing arm is to have a, a scaffold pole through here which I've got here it's ready to go in the lathe and be turned down and you can see it's steel and then yeah that's gonna go through through the actual boom arm and I'm gonna have a, um, a runner on top and I've got an old chain block down there in the bag that I'm gonna put on it so yeah we'll follow along and um, see how we get on as you can see, I've been cutting out a few pieces and this one I'm going to just bring the corners in on and lop off here, fold that corner in and weld because the uprights I'm going to make out of 50mm box section, 4mm thick and this is 900 wide so you know, I just need to fold these in so that then the scaff pole can sit through this one and through that one down there. So I'm going to use oxypropane to bend these corners down and then I'll use my old uh, arc welder to weld up the seams along. If anyone wants to know where I got these oxypropane nozzles, uh, there's a website called Nozels uh, with two Zs. You never get a really locking oxycetylene. You can see how long the, the feather is inside. With oxyacetylene you get a much smaller hot feather, but this does just fine as you'll see.
the temperature of the noxypropane flame somewhere around 1800, 1900 degrees Celsius. Way hot enough to bend this as you've seen, and silver solder and braze and everything. I won't show every step of grinding and cutting and welding, but these are the not too bad. Um, so there's a the scaff tube, yeah, it's going to go kind of something like that. That's pretty good. Um, may have it out a little way and have a um, fill it in there, just add a little bit of strength. But yeah, just making made the hole using a, a hole cutter in the mill. See in there. Yeah, and then the scaffold will get welded in. I've actually cut, welded a couple of little plates in uh, to the box section just to finish it off, and then I'll grind it all back, and then that'll be a completed thing. And I'll show you how it ends up once I've ground it.
truth. Here we go. Trial fit. Nice. 